on Wednesday we're playing uh, sonatas by Heinrich Ignaz Franz von Bieber. He was a revolutionary Baroque composer way before Bach even and he's using the sonatas to express the 15 uh, descriptions of the Rosenkranz. Yeah, of the mysteries. So there's yeah. the joyful mysteries, the sorrowful mysteries and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a vignettes of the life of Christ. Yeah. One thing that he did was that he really kind of messes with the tuning of, yeah. your, you call it what, scordatura? Scordatura. Right? This is the normal tuning. And for example, that's why I use a second violin. My tuning here is, that's very strange. Yes, yes. And that's only the two, and we're using four different tunings. He puts that in the score, that what, he, what tuning he wants. And with that he piece. creates uh, different uh, harmonic possibilities and different color possibilities. So he's really, really adjusting per sonata for the color, for the uh, emotion of what he wants to express. He's using different uh, coloring there. Of course, he, he's very um, specific to the violin about mm -hmm. what to do. He gives me practically nothing. Nothing, yeah. So he just gives me freedom a there. note. <laughs> and I'm meant to improvise a complete part for harpsichord and organ based on that. So I mean, so, so every time it's different actually. So I'm playing on top of my things, and different. he's just doing different. And he, yeah. he can choose uh, in which range to do yeah. it, depending on how what you thin do. and what colors we choose, mm -hmm. and again depending on the mood we want to express. That's right, which is yeah. going to be different every time. Yeah. Incredibly, these sonatas, which are a big part of music history, there's only one copy surviving of them. This is this is it. This is all we have. So I mean, as we know, a lot of music got lost. If this copy got lost, we wouldn't have, have these pieces. Anything, yeah. So it's it's actually pretty amazing to think that we we got them and whoever whoever's handwriting was it is am amazing and I mean just the the level of work is just really really super exquisite. So it's always if you play from manuscript from facsimiles, you get a little closer to you feel at least a little closer to the composer because you're just in slightly more direct yeah. contact. Yeah, yeah, it's really something. I think it's like Dolmetsch said. We can no longer let anyone get between us and the composer. So we try. We try. <laughs>